Season 2 is now underway and with its release there is now a brand new way of making an insane amount of money in a very short period of time. So for all you people out there hellbent on making yourself some serious coin, strap in and let's get into it. Before we get into the video, I'm currently live over on Twitch, so if you like the video, make sure to not only subscribe and leave a like, but also come into the stream and say hi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an insane amount of money in a very short period of time, and I will show you how this all works out later on in the video. For this strategy, you can do this with any amount of people, including solo. First things first, you're going to want to start hopping servers. You need to spawn at Golden Sands Outpost. Once you've spawned in, head on over to the merchant situated at the docks. From here you're going to want to raise the merchant emissary, after this you're going to want to do a couple of things before you set sail. First of all speak to the merchant and browse their resources and commodities. Switch over to the commodities tab and purchase everything you can. While you're speaking to the merchant you also want to buy yourself a cargo run voyage. Load all of the commodities onto your boat and make sure you organise them to keep track of what you have. For me I did this easily by keeping one of each resource separate and then stacking the bulk of the resource behind it. Once you've done this you want to start up the cargo run voyage. What you're looking for is a voyage which takes you on the path of the route we're going to be taking in this video. To make this a bit more clearer I'll explain the route which you should be taking from outpost to outpost. Our adventure starts at Golden Sands, we head north by northeast to Sanctuary Outpost. From there we head straight east to Daggertooth. Following on from that we head east again to Galleon's Grave. Moving from there south by southeast to Morrow's Peak. From Morrow's Peak we head straight west to Ancient Spire and then west again to Plunder. Finally wrapping it up again back to Golden Sands which is northwest from Plunder Outpost. Now we have the route, again what we're looking for is a cargo run which stays along this route. Majority of the time you will get a voyage which goes from one outpost to another, which is great. If you do not get this and instead it takes you in an opposite direction, do not worry about it, keep on going to your next outpost. When you're at the next outpost, grab more commodities and another cargo run. The cargo runs are essentially to get us to grade 5 merchant before we start selling the commodities. If you can find the key and get crates along the way, especially with the merchant shipwrecks, this will get you to grade 5 in no time at all, and then you will not have to do these voyages anymore and you can focus on the trade routes. We aren't going to be stopping anywhere or following clues on these voyages, we're just going to be looking for birds along the same route to get to the outpost, which will often lead you to the key or shipwreck. Once you're at grade 5 you want to continue buying the commodities and you should hopefully have a lot stacked up by now. When you go from outpost to outpost you're going to want to pay attention to the merchant inventories which is the book found next to the merchant. These will tell you what to sell at each outpost. For example if you're an ancient spire open up the sought after page for the ancient isles, click through until you find ancient spire. This will tell you which commodity is in demand for that outpost and will sell for a lot more coin. You want to sell what each outpost needs as well as picking up some more resources to take on to the next outpost in the route. Each item purchased can be turned over for some insane amounts of profit. For example the gemstones can be purchased for around the 2000 mark and can be flipped for a rough amount of 13,000. That is a net profit of 11,000 coins which is absolutely insane. With all of that, you should be well on your way to becoming a very rich pirate on the Sea of Thieves. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out my other videos on the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.